welcome to another video of whatsapp series in this video we will look at uh, how we can add calls to our app uh, as you know that uh, we have added chat successfully to our app but uh, we cannot call to the users we want so we will add audio and video both uh, in our app so for that let's get started first of all what we need is first of all what we need is is that uh, if you go to our app we have currently this this call section is totally empty so we need to add users all the users should be listed here so that we can select one uh, to, uh, the one we want to make call so first I'm going to introduce you to the new version of uh, Android Studio I've updated my Android Studio so uh, in this version they have added some nice features for example I can now restart I can make changes and restart activity by this so it will not start the whole app and it will maintain the state what does that mean is that uh, when I restart the activity if I'm logged in I will b still be logged in because it just restarts the activity it doesn't restart the whole app so this feature is nice you can see that apply changes and restart activity and this next feature is run app so it will run the app as uh, it used to do before this version so how you can check you can check new for new versions by going to the settings and search for updates it's under system settings updates and you can uh, check by this and then update so i'm here first of all there is a problem a uh, little problem here if you can go to context you can see that if user hasn't added its uh, picture then it will not display anything so we need to check first that if a user has not added its picture we need to add a placeholder image there for that I'm going to the function inside chat and context you can replace it for uh, uh, for the time being I'm going to replace it only in inside chats so okay I'm going to replace it inside context because we need contacts inside uh, this are uh, calls so the change will be there also reflected there also so I'm going to check here if user dot profile pick url is not is equal equal to null then i need to add a placeholder url here user dot profile pick url is equal to i'm going to fetch a placeholder url from lorem ipsum uh, lorem ipsum so they have another website for uh, pictures that is called lorem pixum not ipsum so you can get here and you can grab any image from here just copy the url of the that image i'm going to copy the url of this nice beautiful dog so let's copy it and use it so i have added that i'm going to restart my activity not the whole app so you will see that it will only restart the activity So you can see that it has restarted the activity and it is showing dog it's like a it's looking beautiful here so now we have this so now I'm going to add this call section here so for calls and if you see here it is adding up another placeholder image I think we have added this placeholder image in you in user adopter so if I come here pick URL into holder dot user profile pick URL it's adding from there okay forget that I don't remember where we have added that placeholder image so for now just uh, copy this user adopter and paste it over adopters folder and rename it to calls adopter 
and rest of the things should be same except this users row so we need to go to this layout uh, let me go to resources layouts and user users row just copy it and paste it over layout and rename it to calls row oh yes we have added this placeholder image in this side this row so that's why that's why that was displaying there obviously you can change that if you want but i'm not going to waste my time there so now we need to add a calls button here at the right side of this row so if you see the this is expanding these two text views are at uh, taking the full width of this uh, row so we need to decrease their width so first i'm just disconnecting the right constraints of both and i'm going to add another button here and I'm going to connect it to the right side and just make it its margin from both sides 8 8 perfect so now we need to just add background image here So this is a call button. Let me grab some call button from internet. This is not working. Right. So I'm going to go to icon 8.com. Search for call and let's see what it gives us. gives us this button let's recolor it to green okay I'm going to download it in 24 pixels PNG will be perfect I'm going to download it in 48 pixels download for free save it under pictures call show in folder copy the picture and just paste it under drawable folder and name it call ok so now I can use it inside this src let's make it call and just remove this android drawable it's now our drawable folder so this is looking a little bit a little bit uglier I'm not okay so for this is fine for now we can make use of it so now we need to go to our calls fragment sorry calls fragment that's this one so now we need to make some changes here we need to grab those users and display it here and inside this calls adapter we need to change its row to calls row and other thing is that if I go to call row again I need to just change these IDs for example I am going to add one with every field so that IDs should be unique for each and every resource now if I got get back to my calls adopter I need to change IDs here also inside this alright this is fine now so now go to the calls fragment and 
copy the everything we have in this contact context fragment everything we have here just copy it here we need to change some things here like we need to make it calls and while, while this is fragment context context it should be fragment calls here and we need to add also change the recycler view here but should it should be adopter here sorry it should be calls adopter so we need to import it and this user adopter type should be changed to calls adopter perfect so another thing which is remaining is if i go to fragment calls here we need to paste that layout so if i go to fragment contact I need to just copy and paste this recycler view inside fragment calls here perfect so now this thing this is fine just remove this S closing tag and make it self closing so the burning will be gone so that's it we need to restart our activity and let it restart and check if all fragment works perfectly perfect so it has the user but oh I we forgot to add constraint to our username and so if I go to calls row here call row so we need to add these constra constraints back just attach this with happening to this just remove these constraints and drag it here okay so same goes with this this is not selecting here I don't know the reason so let's this is zero width okay so let's add some text here so that I can select it so it's here if I remove its constraint from here So now we need to attach it here and here at the both sides with zero padding and this should be 12 fine okay so now we need to connect this one to the here and here okay fine so we have our user interface 
going so let's add some margin from left okay so now we need to run it again or we can refresh it st restart the activity fine so as you can see that now it's looking fine so now we need to add a click listener to this one this row it has click listener but it is going to chat activity we don't need to do that we need to directly make a phone call from here so we will amend its behavior in the next upcoming videos so that's it for this video see you in the next one thanks for watching the video